Well, for just about anybody that has an SLR, this company needs no introduction. Uh, Sigma Corporation is one of the foremost manufacturers of camera optics for years now. The SLR, which uh, some people may be familiar with, uh, is a, a culmination of, of our experience with the previous models, SD9 and SD10. It utilizes the new image sensor, 14 million pixels, Fovian type direct uh, image reading uh, sensor. Uh, retains most of the features of the previous cameras, but it does add the following. Uh, we've added a built-in flash, oh, great. Okay, as well as having the dedicated hot shoe, uh, a focus assist light, which previously was provided by the auxiliary flash, now it's built in. Uh, the display monitor on the back of the camera has been enlarged to two and a half inches. Uh, a very simple system allows for the uh, accessing of the most commonly used uh, settings, ISO setting, auto, uh, white balance settings, file size, image size, and so on, can all be accessed directly off the image sensor with one button and then the four-way controller. And then there are conventional menus for more, uh, less frequently uh, adjusted uh, uh, parameters. Great. And so it's the same. It's the same Foveon sensor. It's um, and the, for our readers, the listeners that may not be familiar with that, um, the Foveon technology is very unique. It actually stacks the pixels vertically underneath each other. So each pixel site has a red, green, and a blue sensor. Uh, I think you were Thomas telling me earlier that there's 4.7 million pixel locations, but then each one of those has three individual pixels stacked inside the silicon. So it's a very unusual technology. Uh, it's characteristic of very uh, sharp, clean edges, very crisp. Um, and so when is this um, when is this shipping and what's its price point? Actually, the SD14, we just uh, started shipping the uh, beginning of this month. Uh, so some dealers have already received them. In fact, some customers have already received them and posted some of their images on the Internet. Uh, what we would call a street price on the SD14 uh, for the body would be about $1,600, and that would include the rechargeable battery and uh, charger, the uh, USB and video cables, uh, PhotoPro software, and so on. Oh, one other addition on the SD14 uh, over the previous models, uh, previous cameras could re record only in the RAW format. Mm -hmm. The SD14 now offers the option of recording in JPEG or RAW. Oh, so feature, yeah. people who want the convenience of just shooting and, and making prints right away from a JPEG file, they'll have that option now with the SD14. And uh, actually we have another sample over here that has the uh, demonstrates the power grip that's available for it. And this is uh, an accessory that uh, you can buy along with the camera, buy separately and add to it. And it's, that's I think correct. the price point on that again was about? Uh, we, I think it'll have a street price under $300, probably be around 275 or so. Uh, and that allows for uh, use of uh, two batteries instead mm -hmm. of the one, so you have twice the shooting capacity and provides a vertical grip and a vertical power switch. So for those people shooting a lot of portraits, it's a lot more convenient to hold and, and operate. Well, that's great. And now we can uh, probably talk about lenses, but we covered the cameras. Um, you've got, I think, a new lens here. Well, it's a lens that's been announced, but there's some changes to it. Right, right. At, at Photokina, Sigma did announce uh, our second optically stabilized lens, an 18 to 200 millimeter lens. Uh, production was delayed because they did make some changes. Uh, they'd made, made uh, several, actually, uh, changes to the optics. Uh, and perhaps uh, significantly for Nikon owners was the inclusion of a, a hypersonic motor in the lens uh, for autofocus drive so that the lens is fully uh, autofocus with the newer Nikon cameras like the D, D40, D40X. Uh, and it has uh, one additional feature over our previous stabilized lenses like the 80 to 400 in that it will automatically sense when the photographer is moving the camera to pan with the moving subject and will disable the stabilization on that horizontal axis so the stabilization will fight the photographer as he's trying to pan with the subject. That's great. Wrench the camera out of his grip to stabilize it. And so uh, you've made some changes in it. Uh, you're not quite shipping, but I understand it's coming up fairly soon. Correct. I expect to begin uh, shipping the lens uh, by the end of March. Wow, that's right around the corner. And the price point for the lens? Uh, we anticipate to probably have a street price of about $550. Great. And it's a good price for that kind of capability.